One of the greatest experiences of my life occurred when I got what's in this side, this little box. As a child, I always dreamt about winning a great cup. And as a child, I always dreamt about how amazing the ring would be. Well, today I'm with the man who helped make my dream a reality. Today I am with Miran Armutlu, who is the CEO and founder of Intergold, and he is also the creator of our championship ring for 2008. Well, to start with, uh, you have 101 diamonds, totaling about two carats. You have 14 baguette cut rubies, that's about a carat and a half. So you have a total of three and a half carats of gemstones in there. So it's a pretty nice ring. Um, one of the real interesting features of this ring is if you look here um, in the stripes of the footballs, we have six diamonds, which represent the six great cups that the Calgary Stampeders have won in their history. Like anything else, the first place that it starts is ideas and concepts, or what we call chicken scratches that you see here, where we receive some ideas and concepts from the different teams that we want to work with. When coming up with a championship ring like the, the Grey Cup uh, Stampeders ring, we go through, you know, it can be anywhere from 100 to almost feels like a thousand different variations to come up with something we know is going to be something we want to show. Um, different ways of doing the, the shanks of the ring, the options that can go on there, stone variations from all the different tops, um, the shape of the top. This is the, the player's ring that we designed for the Celtics. And when Kevin Garnett came into the room, the first thing he said is, I want 10 of them. One for my agent, one for my other agent, and one for this guy and one for that guy. Uh, we drew the line. We said, no, Kevin, you can't have it because these rings are special. They're earned. We call them the A rings. Needless to say, it was pretty pissed off with me, but, you know, that's the way it goes. So this is uh, the largest ring, championship ring made. It took me a year to come up with it, but at the end of the day, we came up with this ring where when you press a diamond on the side of the ring, the top opens up and what you have is a watch inside of it. This has never been done before and I'll probably never do it again. So.